Look at this beautiful girl. This is Edie Adams. <laughs> She's John Kenley's favorite. She's and my favorite. Uh, no, this, this, Edie, is, is how would you describe your outfit? It's a, a gaucho pants uh, suit with a sort of a jerkin over blouse and uh, crazy boots. I like the new style, don't you, with the long oh, kind of look listen, if I could look like that in them, I'd love them. Oh, they're fun. I think they're funny. You know, you can sort of dress up and dress out. You Never before in history could you just dress the way you wanted, and I think it's fun. You can do your own thing right now, mm -hmm. can't you? Oh, Anything yeah. you want to do. Anything. Listen, do you know they've been waiting since May to see you? This is the ad ad greatest advance sales we've ever had. Oh, isn't it? On a Kenley right? show. Isn't this tremendous? That is delightful. I can't tell you. I remember the last time I played here in Dayton. You know, they always say, if you think you're great, play Dayton. Everybody was so nice. The audience this is the bells are ringing. Nice. Bells are ringing. Well, this is a better show. This well, one is this, nothing but laughs. Do you know John Kenley, bless his heart, wanted me to understudy you, and I said, Oh, Edie yes. Adams, I wouldn't have the nerve oh, to do that. Oh, we should. No, you should. no. It's a great part. Now, when yeah. I heard about, what, 15 musical numbers? Yeah, uh-huh. I said, John, you've got to be kidding. Oh, and a lot of, you know, there are a lot of poignant moments. I mean, if you don't make them cry, then you don't make them laugh too easily. You have to laugh and cry in this one. We go through the gamut. We have fun days, and we also have some very recognizable, tender moments, too. Oh, it's a great show. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it tonight, Edie. And listen, is your, your little two-year-old going to oh, be here tonight? Oh, not tonight. No, it's too late. He may come to a part of a matinee. But I understand he likes music. He's crazy about music. He knows the uh, he's at different band rehearsals. He knows the saxophone and violin and drums and different things. He's uh, very musical. And he knows every car on the highway. I don't, but he does. How'd you get the name of John? Well, Joshua, I... I believe in seeing your babies for a little while before you name them. And before I left the hospital, uh, both babies were, uh, well, they had no name. I think you really have to know them. I think it's kind of unfair to prejudge them and give them a name before they're born. And Joshua, he just couldn't be anything else but Josh. He used to look right at me and decide whether or not I was going to be okay as a mommy. <laughs> and he is a Josh. He wouldn't be an IE, like a Bobby or a Jimmy or something. He's Josh or Joshua. He's kind of a, you know, straight-ahead little guy. And he is that. That's just the way he is. Now, how about your daughter? Is she with you? And Mia. No, she's in camp for the first time. Oh, this and, is a big uh, deal. Oh, yes. Oh, horseback riding and all kinds of things. But I'll see her in music. Now, I wanted to ask a little bit about your musical background because Lou M at our station, he plays your albums all the time. Oh, You that's have a great nice. singing voice, Oh, thank Edie. you. And you really started out in opera, didn't you? Yes, five long, hard years at Juilliard. Oh, I tell you. Tell the funny story about it. Well, you started uh, on a talent scout show with uh -huh. Arthur Godfrey. As a and loser. You, as a loser. Well, you sang opera, didn't you? No, they wanted me, uh, if I had sung opera, he said I would have won, the fellow, the new director. But he said if I seriously wanted to get into the business, I should sing a pop song. And I didn't know any pop songs. So I went tearing out, and I bought the number one record at the time, which was Patty Page's, Would I love you, love you, love you. And they sang it just like Patty Page, and I lost. <laughs> but I had all kinds of uh, legitimate job offers, one of which was with Ernie Kovacs in Philadelphia. And really with Ernie Kovacs, your late husband, and with Jack Parr, then you really were on your way, oh, weren't you? Yes, yes, that was the first. What Long about, time ago. <laughs> what about Jack Parr? Do you see, do you see Jack often? No, I hear from him. His, his uh, manager is a dear friend of mine, and he's, uh, well, he's back from, uh, he was up in Vermont for a while, and then he's back now in... Uh, New York, and he was very involved in raising that, uh, you know, the, the born free cub. You know, he really oh, had that. Oh, yes. He had that running around the house for about a year. He really was very serious about that. That sounds like Jack. That's Jack Parr. <laughs> he's, he's really something. You were in the movie, and I don't know whether I can get it all right. A mad, 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 oh, mad, yes. mad, mad, mad world. So many mad. With Jonathan Winters. Oh, yes. Uh, tell a story. Didn't you go to a party with Jonathan Winters, and um, he and another friend showed up in what, oh. what were the outfits? Jonathan Winters and Crazy Terry Thomas they were two completely wacky people. I had a party, you know, and a party with all these comedians. And these two showed up in RAF uniforms. And I said, why? And they said, why not? <laughs> and they, they had to go and rent them, you know, because that was from the uh, Second World War, where they found them, I guess, in a costume house. And they were walking all over town with these RAF uniforms on. Oh, they're both crazy people. Well, of course, he's from our area Oh, here, I know. So we we kind of claim know. Jonathan Winters. Oh, but funny. we're very proud to have you back in our city. Oh, Edie I'm Adams. glad to be back. Here. Look forward to seeing I Do, I Do. And, of course, um, tickets are available uh, Saturday and Sunday matinee. And you can call 223-2248. Or if you can't <laughs> if you can't get anyone at the box office, call Bill Hunter, the manager. He'll talk. You tell him I said it was okay. And 
Two two three two two seven nine. Thank you very oh, much, Edie. Thank you.